Thank you for being with us today. This is the Douglas Family History YouTube channel. My name is David Douglas. I'm going to be talking about the Douglas family in Scotland. On our last video, we left off with a man named Jacobus Douglas, who is my 13th great-grandfather. And his father was Sir William Douglas VI of Drumaleg. Even though he didn't carry no titles, his father carried the title of Lord, the Sixth Lord of Drumaleg. This is where my paper trail has led me. I have also taken a Y-DNA test, which takes our male bloodline, which my male bloodline, all the way back to Queensbury, Drumlang, Scotland, that Douglas clan that's located as far as there and a lot of their descendants, you know, we, we match up. Jacobus, we believe, possibly could have been an illegitimate son of Sir William Douglas, sixth of Drumaleg. Sir William Douglas, sixth of Drumaleg, was born about 1482 to Sir James Douglas, fifth of Drumaleg, and Janet Scott. Sir William Douglas married Elizabeth Gordon daughter of Sir John Gordon of Lochchanair and Elizabeth Lindsay. And they had these children, Robert, who appears to have died at a young age, Agnes, you remember Jacobus's son, William, that we talked about uh, in the Douglas family in England video. Jacobus's son, William, had a daughter named Agnes which I believe could show Jacobus link to the Drumaleg Douglases, which my DNA also uh, lines up as far as with them, and my paper trail has taken me to these certain Douglases. Janet, and also they had a daughter named Janet, and Sir James Douglas, seventh of Drumaleg. William, sixth of Drumaleg, had... Jacobus and his mother's name is unknown at this time. Looking on further back in this Douglas line, and I mean even in a lot of these uh, uh, that, that had these titles of lords, uh, a lot of time we see even children in this line born out of wedlock by mistresses, such as Sir William Douglas, first of Drumaleg, was born to a mistress of his father, James, the second Earl of Douglas. Said here, said then, uh, there was an army formed of about 34,000 men led by Scottish nobles. And included in this invasion was Sir William Douglas, sixth of Drumaleg. They marched into England, and England responded. They would come into a battle on September the 9th, 1513, in Braxton, Northumberland, England. In that battle, Sir William Douglas, 6th of Drumaleg, would die. The battle was called the Battle of Flodden. Sir William Douglas, 6th of Drumaleg, was born, like I said, to Sir William Douglas, 5th of Drumaleg, and Sir William Douglas, 5th of Drumaleg, was my 15th great-grandfather, and his father was Sir William Douglas, 4th of Drumaleg. And these are a lot of names and a lot of uh, like 3rd, 4th, and 5th, and 1st, and 2nd. So hopefully, you know, you can keep up with it. I mean, if not, uh, you can go to my web page, and all you have to do is just Google this, and it's called Dark Stream. The Douglas family story, all you have to do is t uh, type in uh, Dark Stream at Wix site, and that's W I X S I T. So, Dark Stream at Wix site.com, and hopefully, you can find my website, and I have a lot of this information there. So, Sir James Douglas, fifth of Drumaleg, was my 15th great grandfather, and his father was Sir. William Douglas, fourth of Drumaleg, and his mother was Elizabeth Craxton. Sir James Douglas, fifth of Drumaleg, would marry Janet Scott, daughter of Sir David Scott, first of 
Braxdine, and Bukalek. They would have these children, Agnes, here we go again with that name, which I believe, you know, sometimes names, you know, follow certain family lines. And I believe this female name here has followed in now to the third generation. And Sir William Douglas, sixth of Drumaleg, they had. Sir James Douglas, fifth of Drumaleg, would die about 1498 in Drumalang Rig, Scotland. Sir William Douglas, fourth of Drumland Rig. I may have been pronouncing that wrong earlier, but I believe it's Drumland Rig. Was born about 1438 to Sir William Douglas, third of Drumaleg, and Margaret Carlisle. That was his parents. It is believed that Sir William Douglas obtained knighthood around 1470. Sir William Douglas, fourth of Drumland Rig, would, would marry Elizabeth Crichton, daughter of Sir Robert Crichton of Sanquar, around 1464. And their children were Sir James Douglas, fifth of Drumland Rig, who was born 1465, died 1498. Archibald, born 1477. George, born 1478. Robert, born 1479, John, born 1480, Margaret, born 1481, Janet, born 1482, and Elizabeth, born 1483. Sir William Douglas, fourth of Drumalang, was killed in a battle called the Battle of Loch Maybin. Ben. On July the 22nd, 1484, in Scotland, now, Sir William Douglas, third of Drumland Rig's father was Sir William Douglas, second of Drumland Rig. And his mother's name was Jane Maxwell. Around 1428, he married Margaret Carlisle, daughter of Sir John Carlisle of Tortharwall, and they had the following children. Sir William Douglas, fourth of Drumland Rig, and a daughter, Margaret, born 1468. Sir William Douglas, third of Drumland Rig, would die about 1464 in Lockmanbin, Drumfryshire, Scotland. A lot of these names are hard to pronounce, so y'all just bear with me if you would. Now I want to talk about Sir William Douglas, second of Drumland Rig, my 18th great-grandfather, was born about 1398 in Drumland Rig, and he was the son of Sir William Douglas, first of Drumland Rig, and Elizabeth Stewart. Sir William Douglas, second of Drumland Rig, married James Maxwell, daughter of Sir Herbert de Maxwell of Carlabnock and Catherine Stewart, and their children were first an unknown daughter, don't know her name, born 1428, Son William Third, the Third William Douglas, Third of Drumaleg, born fourteen twenty nine, died fourteen sixty four, and he would pass away about fourteen fifty eight in Drumland Rig, Scotland. His father, Sir William Douglas, the First of Drumland Rig, was born thirteen seventy eight to James Douglas, the Second Earl of Douglas, and his mistress. Name unknown. He married Elizabeth Stewart, daughter of Sir Robert Stewart of Durris Deer in about 1397. Their children were William Douglas, second of Drumland Rig, born 1398, died 1458, and Marion. Sir William would fight against the English in what they would call the Hundred Year War. He would die in France later in 1427. There is a plague uh, that would continue, and William's service in, excuse me, there is a plaque, not a plague, but a plaque that talks about his service to France at the Basilica Cathedral St. Croix de Orleans the home church of Joan of Arc. 
So my 20th great-grandfather, Sir James Douglas, the second Earl of Douglas, was born 1358 to Sir William Douglas, the first Earl of Douglas. And Margaret, Countess of Mar, Sir James Douglas, the second Earl of Douglas, would marry Isabel Stewart, daughter of Robert II, King of Scotland. Sir James Douglas and Isabel had no children, but Sir James Douglas did have two sons by a mistress name which is unknown. Their children were William Douglas, first of Drumaleg, born 1317, died 1427, and Archibald, born 1380. James Douglas, second Earl of Douglas, my 20th great-grandfather, he would die on August the 19th, 1388, at the Battle of Otterman in Scotland. He was later buried at Melrose Abbey, Roche by Shire. My 21st great-grandfather, Sir William Douglas, the first Earl of Douglas, was born 1323 to Sir Archibald and uh, Douglas and Beatrice de Lindsay. Lindsay. William, first Earl of Douglas, married Margaret of Mar, daughter of Domnell, the second Earl of Mar, and Isabella Stewart. They were married in 1357, and their children were James, the second Earl of Douglas, born 1358, and he died August the 19th, 1388. It also had been said that he had two more children by a mistress, Margaret Stewart, and they were George, born 1380, and died 1403, was the Earl of Angus, and Lady Margaret, born 1381, that Margaret Douglas, she was called Lady Margaret, born 1381, and died 1425. Uh, also, one more child by a mistress, was Joan, a girl named Joan. Sir William Douglas, the first Earl of Douglas, would die of an unknown fever in Douglas, South Lanarkshire, Scotland. It's an area called Douglas. Sir Archibald Douglas would also be called Sir Archibald Tiny Man Douglas was born he, in 1296 in Lanarkshire, Scotland to Sir William the Hardy Douglas and Eleanor de Lovain of Groby. And their children were John, born 1317, William, the first Earl of Douglas, born 1323. He would die May the 1st, 1384. Eleanor, born 1325. And then on July the 19th, 1333, at Halidon Hill, near Berwick, Northumberland, England, he would die in a battle against the English. Sir William the Hardy was my 23rd great-grandfather, born 1240 in Douglas Shire, Scotland, to Sir William Longleg, Lord of Douglas, and Constant Batil. Sir William the Hardy Douglas and Elizabeth Stewart, his first wife, would have Sir James Douglas, the good Sir James Douglas, born 1289 and died. August the 25th, 1330. This Sir James Douglas be known as one of Scotland's heroes. Story goes back. Uh, he was a close friend and military leader of King Robert the Bruce. And Sir Robert the Bruce asked Sir James Douglas at the time of his death that they would take out his heart from his body and then take it to Jerusalem and bury it in the church of the Holy Sepulchre. This was to make penance for killing John Conyon. James, on his way, would stop at Teba, Spain to help in a battle to help out his friend named Sir William Sinclair. While charging the enemy line, he threw the little silver box that was hanging around his neck with a chain that had the uh, heart of Sir Robert or, or King Robert the Bruce in it, and he threw it. Legend says that he shouted, Onward, brave heart, Douglas will follow thee or die. 
He died on that battlefield that day when they were retrieving his body. It was said that he was lying on top of that little box that had Robert the Bruce's heart in it. They took the body of Sir James Douglas and the heart of Robert the Bruce back to Scotland and buried them. The red heart with a crown on the top of our family crest, our coat of arms, represents the heart of Robert the Bruce. Said, goes on to say that he would marry the daughter of Matthew de Louvain, and their children were Hugh, Lord of Douglas, born 1294, died 1344, and Archibald Tinyman of Douglas, born 1290, and died July the 9th, 1333. Sir William the Hardy, Lord of Douglas, was the first noble to join William Wallace during the rebellion in 1297. He was captured and died in 1298 where he was held prisoner in the Tower of London. My 24th great-grandfather, Sir William Longleg, Lord of Douglas, was born to Archibald the first Lord of Douglas and Margaret Crawford. Sir William Longleg, Lord of Douglas, would marry Constant Batille of Faldon, Northumberland, England, in about 1230 was their marriage year. And their children were Hugh, the first Lord of Douglas, born 1239, died 1274. And William the Hardy, Lord of Douglas, born 1240, died 1298. Uh, Wilma the Doug Willem the Douglas, born twelve forty five, died thirteen o two. Sir William Longleg, Lord of Douglas, died about twelve seventy four. They said either in Douglasdale of Foldon Manor, Northumberland, England. Archibald the first. Lord of Douglas, my 25th great-grandfather, was born to William de Douglas, or of Douglas, however you want to pronounce it a lot of time. When you see this in historical records, it'll say William de Douglas, or D. Douglas, and that's D-E. And Margaret, her last name is unknown. Archibald would marry Margaret Crawford, daughter of Sir John Crawford, and of the Crawford uh, Crawford John Parish, Scotland, and their children were Sir William Longleg, uh, Lord of Douglas, born 1207 and died 1274, and Sir Andrew Douglas of Hermiston, died, born 1223 and died 1277. Archibald, the first Lord of Douglas, was born about 1239 in Lanarkshire, Scotland or died about 1239. This is his, his, his year of death. Archibald, the first Lord of Douglas, died 1239 in Lanarkshire, Scotland. William D. Douglas, or Day Douglas, however you want to pronounce it, was born about 1246 in Lanarkshire, Scotland, to Theobald Le Fleming. He is the first... <coughs> He is the first of our line to be recorded to take on the Douglas name. The Douglas name is Gaelic for dove glass, which means black water or dark streams. This comes about and derived from the land surrounding the Douglas waters, or the Douglas water, it's like a little river, in South Lanarkshire, Scotland. We see where he first witnessed a charter between 1175 and 1213. The proof that William de Douglas was the son of Theobald Fleming. We'll see that William de Douglas, now here's some proof. William de Douglas inherited the land that Theobald Le Fleming owned. So I believe this proves that Theobald Le Fleming was his father. The Le Fleming name, it actually means, you know, that like that they're from Flanders, the Flanders area, and they were Flemish speaking. And this area is located in northern Belgium, and also there is a portion 
at the top right hand corner of France where the area of Gwens, place called Nord Pas de Calais, France is at. It's the top right hand, the north right hand corner. It's also called, I believe, even West Flanders or the county of Flanders. Said William de Douglas would marry Margaret, and her last name is unknown, and their children were Archibald, Lord, the Archibald, first Lord of Douglas, born 1167 and died 1239. Hugh, born 1171 and died 14, 1245. Margaret, born 1177, died 1260. And Brigus, born 1193 and died 1240. 22. Alexander, born 1194, died 1238. Henry, born 1195, died 1245. Freskin, born 1205, died 1232. Every one of his brothers served as clergy, otherwise they, they remain unmarried in the Roman Catholic Church. They were a very religious family. They were connected real strong with the church, the early church. Even in our family crest, there is a cross called the cross, crosslet fitchy. And it represents the Trinity and unshakable faith. That's in our family crest that you'll see right there. Those little crosses, you probably cannot see them but it represents the Trinity and unshakable faith. William de Douglas died in 1214 in Lanarkshire, Scotland. I will continue with our next video to show where I believe, and like I said, you know, you may say this is just your opinion. And I know a lot, some agree with me and some disagrees with me, but you know, that, that's okay. But I believe I'm going to show you in the next video where I believe that the Douglas family and the Fleming family or the Lay Fleming family or the Fleming family are connected and I believe are the same family. So it's going to be talking about the Douglas family and the Lay Fleming family connection to show how I believe that they are the same family. So... If, if you're liking this, please, you know, give us a thumbs up. Make a comment. If you got a question about this, maybe I, I can help you. You know, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. So like I said, just, just stay tuned. We're going to have, you know, some more videos uh, that's going to take us on further back in this Douglas bloodline, this Douglas clan, which we're going to show you. Actually, like I said, we, we already have seen the first man that took on uh, the Douglas name was William Day Douglas. Uh, and he was born in that area around what they call Douglas, Scotland, around that, that waters of South Lanarkshire, Scotland. We're going to take you on back further on this paper trail, uh, and I hope that you get something out of it. Thank you for listening today to our Douglas Family History YouTube channel. Thank you so much.